Hello once again. I guess we will get straight into this SCP because it's quite a long one. Item number SCP-009. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. Object is to be contained within a sealed storage tank of heat resistant alloy with dimensions not less than 2 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters. Under no circumstances should SCP-009 be exposed to temperatures in excess of zero degrees when not undergoing testing and no water-based solution shall be allowed within 30 meters of the object's containment area. Object chamber is to be fitted with temperature sensors which must be monitored at all times and is to be kept refrigerated by no fewer than three redundant cooling units. Any malfunction of sensors or of cooling systems is to be reported and repaired immediately. If at any time the temperature in the containment area climbs above minus 5 degrees, the chamber is to be locked down and flooded with coolant until temperatures return to safe levels of which are minus 30 degrees to minus 25 degrees. Containment area is to be kept in total vacuum during testing and personnel interacting with SCP-009 must wear full environmental protection gear. All equipment Personnel and other materials must undergo dehydration procedures and be quarantined for no less than 12 hours. Any moisture found displaying properties of SCP-009 is to be quarantined and added to the containment area as soon as possible. Living organisms found to be contaminated by SCP-009 are to be terminated by chemical desiccation and extracted molecules of SCP-009 added to containment. Description. SCP-009 is approximately classified liters of a substance which superficially resembles distilled water, H2O, except with a distinct bright red hue. This red hue is discernible in all phases and serves as the most expedient method of identifying contaminated matter before its anomalous properties manifest. In contrast to mundane water, SCP-009 assumes a liquid phase at temperatures between minus 100 degrees and zero degrees, and a solid state above those temperatures. At temperatures below minus 100 degrees, SCP-009 vaporizes into a gaseous phase similar to steam. Examinations of the atomic structure of SCP-009 have proved inconclusive. The substance appears to be identical to normal water molecules, with the exception of Reducted. in contrast to standard laws of enthalpy. Doctor Classified. Site Classified. Resident Expert on xenophageal physics suggests that SCP-009 may originate in a universe with alternate physical laws. The most hazardous property of SCP-009, however, is its ability to contaminate normal H2O. When in contact with any aqueous solution, SCP-009 will, through unknown mechanisms, transfer its anomalous properties to other objects and creatures. Testing has shown it capable of assimilating ice, steam, tea, fruit juice, seawater, blood and the time it takes for this process to occur varies depending on temperature and the exact chemical composition of affected matter and had been observed as taking between 3 minutes and classified hours. Experiments on D-class personnel have illustrated the process of conversion by the substance, which has been found to follow a consistent pattern. 1. Initial exposure Subject is exposed to SCP-009 and it begins assimilating any moisture present on the exposed surface. Creatures in this stage do not commonly notice any unusual symptoms except for a slight warming sensation. 2. Surface conversion. Frost begins to form on the exposed area as the heat produced by subject and SCP-009 itself raises its temperature above 0 degrees. This stage can take anywhere from one minute to classified hours, during which time subjects begin to feel reductive. 
crystals from the epidermis. Three, deep tissue conversion. Exponential increase in temperature of SCP-009 causes runaway reaction throughout the subject's body, resulting in reducted. Actual blood loss is minimal due to ice crystals reducted, allowing subjects to remain alive and conscious for up to classified hours. 4. Testing on D-class personnel was discontinued as of 4th of the 23rd, 20 classified. Addendum. Circumstances of retrieval, subject was found in classified. Alaska on the 11th of the 5th, 19. Classified. The foundation became involved after reports were obtained from the native classified. tribe who came across the mangled bodies of a team of seal hunters which had apparently been shipwrecked classified. kilometers from the village. All victims were found encased in red ice, cause of death recorded as internal bleeding. Low closer examination found Redacted. It is surmised that the low ambient temperatures in the area retarded the freezing process. This prolonged the time to total conversion by classified hours and allowed the victims to remain conscious until Origin of SCP-009 is currently unknown. Investigation into similar events or materials in the area is ongoing. Evidence at the scene suggests Redacted. Possibly involving SCP Classified. See Exploration Log A009-1 for details. Addendum 11th of the 9th, 19 Classified. After initial report and retrieval of specimens, it was confirmed that the arachnoid entity found by MTFB7, see attached file, was indeed a previously unknown instance of SCP-3023. Investigation has revealed the instance originated in Redacted as a result of Data Exposed. Addendum 12th of the 6th, 19 Classified. After repeated inquiries, it should be noted that the portion of coastline upon which the initial victims were found was barren rock, approximately classified meters from the seashore, and was sufficiently dry and cold to prevent significant contamination of the surrounding area. Had the site been closer to the water, there is little doubt an extinction-level event would have ensued. Consideration of upgrading SCP-009 to Kita class under review. Addendum 12th of the 16th, 20 classified. Supercooling of SCP-009 for the purposes of experimentation is disallowed until further notice. Personnel are advised that liquid nitrogen is only to be used on the subject in controlled amounts and only until temperatures have reached acceptable levels. Related note, possible application of SCP-009 in cold fusion research pending evaluation. Memo from O5 Command, 1st of the 9th, 20 classified. We've decided to keep this thing Euclid for now. We understand the concerns raised, but as long as you keep the power on and nobody goes near its containment area, there shouldn't be a problem. That's why we're keeping it in sight classified. After all, as for the cold fusion research, we're putting a pin on that for now. Frankly, we don't have it in the budget for another SNAFU like site. Classified. The salvage team still hasn't found Dr. Classified. Redacted. The following experiment record was recovered via a chance occurrence of SCP 507, shifting into a universe in which the described test was carried out using SCP 107. The applicability of the reported findings to our own universe is pending review. Input, 10 milliliters of SCP-009. Result, red snow fell in test area for 27 minutes with moderate intensity, grass growing in test area began runaway reaction, which ended with entire area being frozen within minutes. Notably, anti infalpathic reaction of SCP-009 did not extend past the effective radius of SCP-107, 
for reasons still under investigation. Non-grass plants in area turned bright red in colour, greatly expanded and mutated to display cyan-coloured tentacles, similar to those of species Dracera capensis. Mucilage produced by these tentacles later found to be tiny beads of SCP-009. How the plant is able to survive with SCP-009 integrated into its cell structure is it currently under investigation. With preliminary hypothesis being the plant is a reflection of flora from the substance's native universe. I don't know, it just seemed a bit longer to me, the uh, SCP document. (laughs) Anyway, that's it for this one.